Hi, I'm Karen Katz, author of Unto the Daughters, written as Karen Tintori, and I'm here very excited to talk to Marcy Grossman, author of Money Marcy's Guide to Financial Literacy. Marcy, can you tell us in a sentence what the book is about? Sure. Uh, one sentence. My book creates access to understanding everyday financial topics. Something that probably should be taught in high school. Well, yes, no, I, it, it's, it's one of those things that we don't talk about money. It's this taboo subject. So we can talk to our kids about it over the dinner table. We can, we can find ways to have discussions without necessarily revealing confidential information. Our kids don't need to know necessarily what we bring in on our paycheck or whatever else, but, but how we make choices um that, that should be more available that should be i i think it should be taught in, in high school i think it should be taught in in college but it should also be more of a discussion that we have what prompted you to write this book were there other books or were there not other books on the subject there are a ton of other books on the subject um and some of them I couldn't even read. I'm, I'm a CPA with over 30 years of experience, so I know a little bit about money stuff. And there were books that I got out of the library, and I'm like, I, I don't even know what they're trying to say. So I wrote this book as a conversation to my sons who are young adults and their friends in a tone that would make it accessible for them. Where do you write and and uh, do you have any rituals for writing any quirks? Well, I have quirks in my everyday life and anyone who knows me will, will say quirks is kind of my byline. <laughs> um, but what I do is I sit down and my rule is 15 minutes every day. And if in that 15 minutes I can't find my mojo to to write, to edit, to plan out, then I say, okay, you know, I gave it my shot and I'm done. And if I can come back to it later that day, that's great. If, if, if I feel it inside, um, otherwise there are days I sit down and I'm writing and reviewing and editing and whatever else for eight hours. It, it all depends on the day. And I just, as long as I gave it that chance for 15 minutes, I walk away and I don't feel guilty about it. That's a, that is a great incentive for every writer. Did you have any surprises or serendipitous moments while you were writing this book? Um, as I was writing, so, so my book includes personal stories from people and, and financial situations that they would share. And some of the times when I was reading their story, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's something I need to cover better because that's an issue that I hadn't really thought was an issue for people. Um, but but otherwise, I, I didn't really have any surprises, per se. What general topics do you cover in the book? I cover budgeting. I cover understanding your tax return, the importance of... Um, doing a reconciliation for your bank statements, for your credit card statements. I talk about the different health insurances you might be offered at the workplace or the various forms you fill out when, when you start a job. These are, these are things we all do on a daily basis or should do on, on a regular basis and sometimes just go through motions without understanding what or why. What did you leave out of the book that you wish that you had included? I don't know that I necessarily left anything out that I wish I had included because I'm hoping to do more books. I'm hoping to collect more stories and uh, and present more because people learn from stories. So the more stories I get, uh, the more opportunity there is for people to connect to the various ways of presenting the information. But uh, there are always more topics to include. And so I cover things in my blog. I am gathering information of things for the next book, but I wanted the book specifically to be small and unassuming and not intimidating. So when you look, look at the book, it's, it's a small book. And so you don't say, oh boy, how am I going to slog through this? You say, okay, I'll leave it in the bathroom and, you know, periodically read a chapter. And that makes it accessible. It's, it's all about making it so people will pick it up and look at it 
and read it and gain the knowledge. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your time with us today. And we look very forward to seeing you at Jewish Book Fair on November 13th. Honey, Marcy. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Thank you.